What's the haps? I'm Morocco and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Valhalla! A new day, a new drink! I'm gonna make a new thing. This one's gonna be very, very simple. Completely straightforward, simple as possible. You'll require one pint glass. It does not have to be a fancy Sam Adams super elaborate pint glass, which is precision engineered to within an inch of its life and includes some of the most phenomenal pseudo-scientific mumbo-jumbo I've ever heard. Three times now on their brewery tour. Um, they they like those glasses, but they're they're no, they're ridiculous. They're very nice looking glasses, and they're they I guess they do something for the drink, but they don't do anything. I don't do a lot more for the drink that a lot of other glasses already do. So it's just a nice glass to have. Okay, if you get the chance and your bar has some, steal one. I guess. I don't, I don't condone theft, but I don't consider stealing a pint glass to be much of a theft. Uh, in your pint glass, you'll require one bottle of World Top Scarborough Fair IPA or your favourite beer. It is. It looks like this. It is an IPA. It's tasty. This one, um, fun fact, ooh, also also continuing to push the Sam Adams. I got Sam Adams Bar Blade, which I bought in Boston. I have never used. Uh, so. Um, Spilling my beer everywhere to christen the use of the bar blade for the first time. Woo! Yeah. I'm gonna pour myself a pint. Correctly, at an angle of 45 degrees, so as not to create some sort of ridiculous over the top head, except I'm not creating much of a head at all, so let's try and give it a head. Come on. Uh, is this pint glass not quite big enough? Have I grabbed the wrong one? I have two of these. I've got an American pint and I've got a British pint, and I can't never remember which is which. No, that's pretty. That's pretty bang on, actually. I must have got the English one. Uh, that can go over there. Uh, that can go away. And I guess Valhalla happens now with a beer. That was that was the most complex uh, cocktail we're gonna make today. I think it is tasty. Fun fact: it is also gluten-free. It is free of the glutens. And gluten-free beers are normally renowned as being absolutely disastrously bad. This one is not. Actually, to be fair, there are a few reasonably decent gluten-free beers on the market at the minute. This is definitely one of them. So if you have the gluten intolerances, drink that. Drink World Top Scarborough Fair IPA. It is the goods. Uh, I can't save now. I would want to load now, though, wouldn't I? Where are we at? We are at day four in our room. We have been charged money for rent. Uh, our subscription got renewed, but so we'll have no focus, no problem focusing. And happy not birthday. Ah, uh, yeah, you really like that website, huh? I have needs. Let's check the websites. Um, I guess Miki's blog. These are th there's nothing new on Miki's blog. Is she has not blogged today? Uh, the augmented eye has stories. You wouldn't believe this shocking clickbait. Uh, you wouldn't believe this shocking Kira Miki secrets by Kimberly Lavalette. Is this something I said in the bar yesterday? Cause uh, oh, it's a local page. For fuck's sake. Uh, Today we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. So how did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What's up all about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on the Augmented Eye. Content blocked in your region. Ah, it's a local page. God damn it. Uh, that shouldn't be blocked, but it is. Alice Rabbit might be a Kirimiki fan. And who isn't? Yep. Uh, everyone loves Kirimiki and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering what's my proof for this not, not so wacky theory and well, keep reading if you want to know. Uh, this is an easy one if you just, I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. Um, okay, I guess Alice Rabbit had something to do with that. Or maybe she didn't. Maybe it was done for clicks. Ooh. They're messing with forces they can't grasp. Oh, no, that's a cat. Ah, they're messing with forces they can't grasp. Oh, it's a ruse. And crime rate is up. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. Mega Christmas! In the future there is Mega Christmas! I love it. That's pretty cool. Uh, White Knights aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been de decreasing the morale of their personnel. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute, distribute blow, 
distribute drugs. I can say words. For no other reason than the fact he gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by dangerous gangs and there's no solution in sight. This mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Eh, could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Uh, Alrighty, let's read the D. Danger slash you, dangerous pinions. Uh, Alice Rabbit, uh, with Mickey concerts. In the last thread, no shit posting allowed. Did it not leave? I think so. I never left. I was lurking. Uh, we read this one, didn't we? Yeah, we read that one. Alice Rabbit? Uh, I don't think it was anything new here. I guess it would have the little exclamation mark on it if there's something new and there wasn't. I guess there was only augmented eye articles. Uh, I, I, you know, I feel like this is one of those things that maybe Kirimiki's blog, maybe that doesn't get updates every day, but I kind of feel like uh, Danger Slash You should totally... I don't know, I'm sure there must be like a name to pronounce that. Do I just call it Danger? Do I just call it Danger? I don't know. D-Chan? It's D-Chan now. I'm gonna call it D-Chan. Uh, D-Chan... You know, it's, if it's anything like 4chan, it should be updated, like, all the time. There should be people shitposting all day long. So, yeah. Uh, we have $2,000 redos. Sweet, let's go shopping. What can I buy with that? Hang on, I can buy a Mega Christmas tree? That's not... Well, I guess he is coming up to Mega Christmas. I should probably buy a Mega Christmas tree. Um... Were there any more musics? There's a games console for 1500, what? Joker Cyclone is a what? It's a fan, okay. Uh, paper Lantern covered in chemicals. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy a Paper Lantern, woo! Where's that go? Paper Lantern hangs up here in my house. I am gonna fill my house full of so much crap. You can see the shelves and stuff. There's loads of places crap's gonna end up piling up. This house is gonna be a cluttered, terrible, terrible thing. That's gotta work. That's probably something worth doing. Friday the 16th of December. Evening. Hello. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you, heard, have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See, it sounds more like a car's exhaust. Oh no, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What is it? What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yep, a couple of years ago there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers? No, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Oh, whatever, this is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. Right, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey. <laughs> Jukebox. Right, um... Let's have... I, I, um, I guess we... I don't know. I know Out of Orbit was the song I liked, and that's literally it. And I noticed, actually, I only kind of picked up on this much later, uh, I think during editing, Your Love is a Drug is actually the Kiramiki song. Um, because that was mentioned in the... That's this, uh, she mentioned that when she was in the bar briefly. She was like, oh yeah, they always ask for that for, as an encore. So that was Kiramiki. Oh my god. Um, skyline, Dusk, I don't know. Some things out of orbit, we'll have that on there because I like that one. Um, I don't know, Showtime, Underground Club. I don't know what any of these things are, so. I could just pick a bunch of things that I like and just leave them on, I guess. Final, some Kiramiki. Uh, Snowfall, I don't know what that is, sounds fun. Uh, Dwelling in Shadows, cool. Well, that's an ominous start. Well, we've got Skyline, right. That's an o ominous start to music, sure. Uh, time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Okay, I got, I got another dude, which means I need to do another dude's voice. Uh, and I... Need to think of a dude's voice that I have not used yet. I've not used my well-spoken posh dude voice yet, have I? 
So, actually, he kind of seems like he sort of fits the bill. He's got the smart shirt and the scarf and the glasses. I mean, he's, he's a little older gentleman. He's got the, you know, the, the balding going on. He seems like he might be well-spoken. Hello, I'm looking for some information. Uh, what kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl named Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. Uh, now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah, now, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever what you, what you, who you're talking about. Nothing at all. Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume I just ha happen to have all the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, you really think $80 is enough? You can almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why do you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course, you want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then get me a drink, but keep it under $80. <laughs> $80, oh man. Um, so, what happens if I get him something over $80? That is what I so urgently need to know here. What kind of drink can you buy for that? I can't, I can't sort by price either. Pretty sure the promo drinks were kind of expensive. Manly? Classic? How, how much is a beer? A beer's $200. Um, classy seems like it would be expensive. Promo, I'm sure, is expensive. Are the girly ones cheap? No. Sparkle? I'm sure there's one of them that's... One of them's definitely $80. I've seen it before, but Lord knows where. Blue Fairy? What have I not looked at? Have, have I looked at all of these? I think I have. Gut Punch is $80. There we go. Okay. Still would kind of like to know what he does if I just completely get it wrong, but... I've not had a day where I've got everything right yet. Maybe I could try and actually get it right. Uh... Yeah. This seems like a guy I need to see what happens if I get him drunk. Definitely. Aged and mixed. Gut Punch. Okay, is that cheap enough for you, Mr. Cheapskate? Yeah. Okay, then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said... I said, maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You are the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more. I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why, the order's right, isn't it? Ugh, I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, mister? Vondelay. Art Vondelay. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So I assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of the so-called Reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them, and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers in internet nicknames. So who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with local goings-ons. Well, let's see... Hmm... Sorry, I can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events, at least not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it! What kind of bar is this if you can't gather word on the street? 
What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? It's not film noir, it's cyberpunk! Woo! Uh, Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? Or Jill? I'm not sure. I still haven't quite figured out what his name is. I don't. I certainly don't. I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On well, second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You will find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. Name Grizzly. Um, yeah, I don't know much incentive to give him anything stupid in this instance. There's no hints down bottom, and yeah, there's no there's no hints at the bottom, and, and that's that that's literally all I got. There's nothing in conversation that suggested I should do anything else either. It's for fans of the movie. Maybe he's a fan of, a fan of the movie that Grizzly Temple was used in, whatever it was. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, then. This is going to be deducted from the ATD from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, that has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumours that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today... Oh, no, sorry. Aside from rumours that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared on news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name the Harbingers wasn't used. No Glitch City Outlets has reported that themselves. There are rumours that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. So either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, he's surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that idol signs. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Did you talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple days ago, dealing with messy interns. Part of the course, I guess. I thought Jill didn't gossip about stuff too much. She's just she's just mostly there to absorb the gossip and keep shtum about it. Cause yeah, poor form to gossip about such things, I guess. Oh, I see, I see. That's gunshots. Is that backfire? Firecrackers! Hey, what do you, hey, hey, what do you think that sound what just now was? It sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It's definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. Can someone just look outside the door? Just open the door, look around, see what's exploding. That would be the obvious thing, right? I wonder if something's happening. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Or maybe the Harbingers are robbing a bank! Outside our, our, our bar right now while he's talking about, do you know anything about the Harbingers? I'm tracking them down. Have you heard any gunshots lately? They might be having an armed robbery. Do you know anything about guns? Have you heard them lately? No? No gunshots? Are you sure there are no gunshots? No, and there's just heavy things being dropped. Okay, sure. <laughs> I know there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. It seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really, I just have different needs, but there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please come again. Gangs, then. Unlikely, this is unicorn territory. There will be a neutral and important third party in other gang deals. There, who the what now? I'll just pretend I heard nothing. 
Thank you. You left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. I'm gonna take my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. Oh shit! It's streaming Chan! This character was previewed fairly heavily on the blog, so I have seen streaming Chan before. Uh, but a new character means that's where I'm going to leave things for today! So thank you very much for watching, I will see you next time.